Welcome back everybody. Today I've got an exciting video, I hope, about the Chins 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now I had a debate with the last company, it rhymes with Beaver, and uh, about how their batteries should test a little bit over the rated capacity. So after going back and forth, I did not get the answers and the result I want. The battery did not test to the capacity. So I wanna show you that if you spend a little bit more and get a reliable brand like Chins, it still could be affordable and it'll have high quality cells and they'll test more than the capacity. So let's do that today on Tackle That. Now I won't bore you with too much of the specs. You already know 48 volt lithium iron phosphate. It's got a high amperage discharge. So this is actually good for a solar system for the house or for a golf cart, um, a 48 volt golf cart. Either you're converting from lead acid or you could even be converting 36 volt uh, golf carts over to 48 volts get you a lot more top end and, and more torque, more runtime. So um, first thing we gotta do is hook up a charge cable. We're going to use the XT60 connectors and we've got terminal screws and this is what I actually do like. They've actually included these terminal covers and these are like a soft silicone so you run your thick wires in here and then these will cover up the terminals so you don't get in any accidental dead shorts which could be really bad. Um, so let's hook up this charger. Now we're going to be using Swarovski 20 amp, I believe, charger. Is it 18, 20 amp? What is it? It's 18 amp. So given these uh, batteries come about, I don't know, 50% charge, we can uh, check it with the voltmeter here in a second. It's gonna take a few hours to get this thing fully charged so we can do a discharge test. We have 52.3 volts. So that's a nice healthy charge. Now you don't want it topped off when they ship them because that's kind of unstable. So they usually ship these around 50%. So let's go ahead and connect our charger up. Make sure double check our polarity. We don't want any issues. Plug her in. And the charger is kicked on, so let's give this a few hours to charge up and we'll be back. All right, our charger is green. We're filled all the way up. And how we're gonna do this is we're gonna use this inverter to draw the power out by charging the battery bank over there. And we're gonna use this shunt to measure all the power that flows through these wires. And that'll give us a very good idea, not 100, percent accurate, but a very, very good idea of how much capacity this battery has. Now we've got our load hooked up to our inverter. So all we got to do is flip this guy on. We're going to turn the inverter on and the charger is hooked up to the other side of this extension cord. So as soon as that charger kicks on, we should see some power start flowing out of this. Oh, I just heard the charger kick on and here we go. We are pulling about a thousand watts out of this. And so that actually works out pretty darn perfect. This is a 5,120 watt hour battery. If we're pulling around a thousand watts out of it, it's gonna take about five hours to discharge this battery. And that's perfect. That is a 0.2 C discharge. And that's really how fast you wanna test these batteries. We'll come back in a little bit and we'll see how she's doing. While we do that, let's check out the app. In the manual, there's a QR code to download this app. It loaded really quickly and it automatically found the battery. We just had to allow it to find local devices. So let's go ahead and connect to that. And here we go. So the battery is at 90% state of charge. We can see that we're currently drawing around 21 amps out of this battery. Um, we got a total voltage. We got our high and our low cell voltage. 
differential. These are really nice and balanced cells. There's only a 0.01 volt differential between those. We got temperature in here and we got all of our single cell voltages. This is great. So this will give you a snapshot of your battery right here on the app. It has a nice big auto balance button. I like that. And it'll tell you if you can charge or discharge it based on the cell voltages. And then of course you can go in and set any of these parameters. I like it. Check it out, testing this halfway. Let's take a screenshot and show you guys. We have 26 137 watt hours taken out of this battery and we still have 52 percent left so if we do the quick math we should be on target all right let's let it marinate and the results are in 5436 watt hours this chin's battery crushed it it, the rated capacity is 5120 and this came in way higher so you know you get high quality cells at an affordable price i couldn't be happier with this battery so i had that debate on the last battery review it didn't hit its rating and people were like oh you know you have to give it a few cycles or maybe the shunt draws a lot of power no these shunts don't draw any power i mean not anything measurable it's only an lcd screen so either way, great battery, tested over its capacity. Uh, this is money well spent on these Chins batteries. And they also have excellent customer service too. So that's important for me as well. This battery is gonna go in a golf cart build. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but here's what it looks like now. So it's gonna take a little bit of work before we can test this thing out and get it rolling, but uh, it's gonna be a fun build. So make sure you subscribe and we'll uh, see you on the next one. Thank you guys. Thank you.